Hi, betting experts. On Thursday, December the 28th, we're off up to Yorkshire to Catrick on Thursday. A competitive low-grade card on decent ground, just on the softer side of good at the time of recording. We start off with our betting expert daily nap, sponsored by Bet365. This goes in the 140. It's the Enter ITV7 for free novice handicap chase. A two-mile class five for four-year-olds and upwards. Just over £3,600 to the winner. And I think by far the most interesting runner here is St. Jaguen from the red-hot Fergal O'Brien yard. Now, Fergal had his second grade one winner at the last weekend. And this one, a rare raider up to Catrick. He's absolutely flying at the minute, Fergal, by the way. Eight winners in the last 14 days at a 32% strike rate. St. Jaguen, I think, has been brought along to land a plot. And I think they've come up here to land the cash on chasing debut. Now, he ran a couple of times in bumpers, quite promising quite strong in the market each time three runs over hurdles he's shown a glimmer at market raising twice and at Hereford last time out when not given a hard time at all that's meant he's got an opening handicap mark straight over fences of just 94 he comes up north where the competition's usually a lot weaker Liam Harrison's been booked I'd be amazed if he's not a lot better than this opening mark suggests and Fergals are usually brilliantly schooled so I think a clean round of jumping will be enough to see these off our betting expert value angle selection spot Sponsored by Bet365, comes in the 250. This is the better betting with Skybet handicap chase. Three mile, one furlong and 54 yards. Class five, four year olds and upwards. Over £4,200 the winner. I like the Paddy Pie here from another yard in red hot form. Sue Smith. Now, I think all of Sue Smith's horses are extremely well treated. They had a pretty dismal season overall last time around and they've all slipped down the weights. And the Paddy Pie is no exception. It wasn't that long ago. He was rated 126 and well capable of winning off it he now finds himself on a mark of just a hundred I'll be amazed if he can't be competitive he ran a lot better last time out at Doncaster just a couple of weeks ago in a hot handicap won by his stable mate Prairie Wolf he duelled on the lead there until fading three out over an inadequate trip he's back right up in distance here to three mile one which is exactly what he wants Ross Chapman's been booked I'm expecting a positive front running ride and Paddy Pye can keep pulling out extra and fend all of these off best of luck on Thursday betting experts and please remember to like and comment on all of our YouTube videos 